Hello and welcome to today's tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to do the uh, rocket launcher uh, setup from Rocket Theme Templates. Uh, the Template Club, I did a blog last year and I had promised a tutorial uh, at the towards the end of that that I totally spaced and was reminded by a, uh, a reader that actually commented and asked if I would go ahead and do that. So we're going to do that. If you haven't signed up with Rocket Theme, they are great. You can go to benjaminher.com slash rtclub and uh, go ahead and get signed up. Um, that should take you to a special page where they've got uh, some good deals going on. And um, what we do is we're going to you work with the uh, Radiance theme. And if you also go here to where it says tutorials, you'll find where it says rocket launcher. A lot of these themes actually have under either a tutorials tab or under features tab, they have the tutorials for the installation process and it explains it all right there. Uh, this little video tutorial makes it a little bit easier so you can listen and watch if you're more of a person that needs that step by step um, uh, walkthrough with uh, with a live uh, teacher so so to speak so um, I've already gone through the steps of getting the web uh, getting the domain purchased uh, the spiritual vegan.com it's a new site for my uh, my wife she's going to be doing a radio show on Sundays uh, under the VOA radio network uh, blogtalkradio.com slash VOA radio is uh, where she'll be where you can find her if you ever want to check that out um, but what we did is we took care of all that, got set up through our HostGator uh, control panel, uh, pointed the domain uh, name servers to my name servers here, went here to add on domains, added the domain, and you can use either Fantastico Deluxe or Quick Install. Uh, they look, there's Fantastico and there's Quick Install. Uh, I used Fantastico. What I'm familiar with, I have used Quick Install. Uh, Quick Install actually does the newest version of the Joomla sites, which is the uh, 2.5 version, uh, 2.5 era. And Fantastico is still running on Joomla 1.5, but the rocket launcher theme that I'm using today is actually 2.5. So it doesn't matter which one you use, it'll actually get you uh, taken care of either way. So I went through the process, clicked on Joomla 1.5, I already created the new installation, went through that whole process. And if you're not familiar with uh, FileZilla already, FileZilla is a uh, FTP client that uh, actually allows you to uh, drag and drop files uh, onto your server. And when, I, when you log into your server, you'll actually select public HTML locate your site within all of the other folders spiritualvegan.com and you actually want to drop it here in the main folder be careful not to drop it into the folders here otherwise you might lose it if you don't know where it went so you can see here that I've got the rocket launcher already in there I went to HostGator my uh, control panel clicked on file manager opened it up and I went in here and I actually you select all of your uh, your uh, folders and files here and you actually want to deselect so you want to hit uh, control uh, on a PC uh, Mac users I'm sure you know what your I think it's I think it's the the command or the Apple key and then Fantastico Fant version this is what Fantastico uses to install and uninstall through their uh, uh, through their uh, script installer, whatever you want to call it. So you've got the remove here, so it automatically allows you to remove it in the future if you say you want to do that. So you want to leave that there, and you want to leave this here. I've already done this process. I'm not going to hit delete, but what you would want to do next is after you've got everything selected, deselect this, deselect your rocket theme uh, that you decide to use. doesn't matter if it's Radiance or any of the others. It's all the same process select all the full, uh, files first before you go through the deletion process here do make sure that uh, you go through your file uh, your your FileZilla, your FTP client, whatever you use and actually select all of your ex extra files here and copy them to your desktop or somewhere on your computer 
so that you can have those because in those is going to be one specific uh, file because I haven't done the installation completed it yet it's not in this one but it will be in uh, your files there's a, what's called a config file it's actually configuration.php and I use notepad++ uh, for all of my code files you're not gonna have to worry about knowing anything much about the codes here you're looking for user and the database and the password that it has for you so user password and database is pretty much all you're gonna need to worry about from that config file when you go through the configuration process so getting back to the deletion delete these files I'm not gonna do it since I've already done it I'm get actually in the process of installing and then after you have only these three files left you might want to refresh your page fantastico all these ones that are uh, deselected should be the only ones showing so you should only have about three files you'll actually click on your rocket launcher theme and click extract and then a little pop-up is going to come up and you just say OK and it's going to it's going to extract everything into this folder that's where we're at right now all right when you go to your main domain, since I'm going to the spiritualvegan.com, you'll come to this installation page. And you've got your language already selected. We're in the United States, of course, so we're going to go ahead and do English. Hit Next. Everything seems to check out. Everything says yes. Everything's appearing as it should here. Next again, you can read through this. If you haven't done it once, you might want to do it once just so you have uh, the information sake. Most people, of course, don't read fine print. I'd recommend you do at least for one time in your career of making websites if you do this for, uh, for other people, just so you have a general knowledge and understanding of what the uh, GPL is for, uh, for Joomla. Moving on to next this is where your configuration file your old one comes into play we're going to select the user which is also the database when it comes to uh, HostGator and if you're under another client and they do it differently and it's uh, if they do differ from one another fine just make sure you're taking the user here to the user and the database to the database so we paste that there copy the password paste it here all this stuff is automatic and default should already be taken care of on its own don't worry about it localhost this is usually what this is here if you're more advanced and you have other things that you input there then you're beyond uh, more advanced in this tutorial here so don't worry about that hit next as it says here optional most users can skip this step uh, very rarely will you ever have to use this um, I've only had to use it once or twice in the back office you can actually do it case by case you don't need to do it here but in your back office once you have your website set up if you ever need to do it you can actually do it on a case by case basis so there's no need to worry about it name of the website email address that you want to use one thing that's great about Joomla 2.53 is that it allows you to select admin or change your uh, username I'm gonna leave it as is for now we'll change it later uh, usually if you have Joomla 1.5 installation because when you do go through rocket theme they do will give you the uh, the choice between Joomla 1.5, 2.5, etc. Uh, Joomla 1.0, I believe they still offer that, I'm not sure. But anywho, uh, Joomla 1.5 does not give you the option, the automatic default admin username is admin. When you log in for the first time, I'd recommend changing it. We're going to enter in our password. re-enter it now here there's only one type of data 
I believe Rocket Theme's out of uh, the UK, so that's probably why they have GB for Great Britain. Anyways, no big deal. It's all in English. Install sample data. Installed successfully. Yeah, you do want to wait for that to uh, show as being uh, successful. Hit next. Next step is to remember to completely remove the installation folder. What we're going to do is go back to the tab we have left open uh, where I was telling you to delete and do all that with those files. Installation, we're going to go through and delete it. Click on delete. Everything should be good. I'm going to refresh the page anyway. I'm going to go back to my website. Looks like this button here on 2.5 actually allows you to remove it from this access point here. But uh, I, I just showed you the other way to do it. And of course you can do it through your uh, FTP clients, uh, uh, like FileZilla like I use. And there you go. Websites live. Everything looks good. Looks just like the demo on Joomla. Go to home page. Home page. I selected the uh, other style. Let's go back to the default. There we go. Not sure why that preset doesn't show up, or the background doesn't show up on the home page uh, under their theme. But if we do it on ours, it should. So you can do this all manually and goof around with it right now if you want. Um, but then the best thing is, is you can go through the back office. It's your .com slash administrator. Looks just like this. That's cool. They removed the Joomla logo up here at the top. And of course, if you want to get really spiffy in the future, you can learn how to actually remove Joomla and make it look like it's not ha not even related to Joomla. You can take all the credits out. I leave them in. Of course, I like to give credit where credit is due when I can. Make sure this works. So I did try the Joomla 1.5 theme in a, another take of this video, and for some reason the back office wasn't allowing me to get taken care of. So I'm going to wrap this up after logging in, and well, we'll just we'll worry about that later. So you take care. Have a great one. Everything should be good to go. Questions and comments below in the comment section if you have any troubles. Take care. Talk to you later.